Good day, and this is the ninth video of the series where we are going to try and go through the PPDAC cycle of a multivariate analysis. So let's do the second last video on the conclusion. We have done the conclusion in video 8 using the median and the IQR as well as the half three quarter rule. This is the third conclusion you need to do if you want to get an excellent. This is called the DBM versus the OVS. DBM stands for difference between medians and OVS stands for overall visual spread. You need to use a bit of calculation in this way because we are going to find out whether DBM is greater than one third of the OVS if the sample size is 30. If the sample size is 100 for each, then it's going to be DBM greater than one fifth of the OVS. If it is around a thousand, then it's going to be DBM greater than one tenth of the OVS. So because our sample size is 30, we can use one third. Or if you want to be closer, it'd be one quarter, but we will stick with one third. So now, first thing we need to know is to how to calculate DBM, the difference between median. The median is the number here. So we are going to calculate the difference between that two numbers. So the median for the forward is 110 kg and the median for back is 93 kg. The numbers can be found here and we calculate it's going to be 17 kg. To get the overall visual spread, we look at the box and whiskers and we find the smallest to the bigger. So the smallest is the lower quartile for the back and the upper quartile of the forward. So we're going to take the upper quartile of the forward, which is 116 kg, and the lower quartile of the back, which is 88, and we come up to the result of 28 kg. So now, as I said before, we need to find out if DBM is greater than one third of the OVS. So we're going to do the calculation here, and let's do the calculation now. Okay, so we know that DBM is 17. Is it greater than one third of the OVH is 28. We calculate 28 divided by 3 is going to be 9.333. So 17 is greater than 9.333. So if, if it is yes, then you can claim that the forward weight is heavier than the back. If it is not greater than, if the answer was less than or equals to, then we cannot make the claim that forward weight are heavier than the back weight. So since the DBM is greater than one third of the OVS, then we can conclude that back to the population of all rugby players, remember the word of all rugby players, you must go back to the population, okay? We can claim that forward rugby players are heavier than the back rugby players. Always answer the question you pose at the start of the problem. Okay, before we end, we can also contribute to the conclusion by saying that the forward Rugby players have a bigger mean and median, and that's why they are heavier. We can also say that the IQR of the forward rugby players also shifted to the right of the back rugby players. Again, this shows that the forward rugby players are heavier. And last but not least, there's no overlap between the two IQR, and this again shows that the forward rugby players are heavier than the back rugby player. So all this evidence has concluded Answer the question. The question was, does the forward rugby players weigh heavier in kilogram than the back rugby players? The answer is yes. All this evidence points out that the forward rugby players are heavier than the back rugby players. Hope you get it and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers everyone and have a good day.